Welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 422. I am host, Mon Sanzo, and this week we got some news for you guys. A lot of toy news, announcements, and whatnot. So, let's not delete it and jump right into it. So, first up is Kotobukiya Reveals Limited Edition Equest Struggles Colored Pinkie Pie. So, what's this? Another Kotobukiya toy out there for the masses to get? And what's the difference between this one and the old one? Well, I'm glad you asked because here it is. Here it is in its glory from Kotobukiya. Uh, as we can see here that the biggest difference between the original and this one is that Pinkie Pie's hair and mane are almost translucent and sparkly. Uh, we can see here that the figure's almost the same. There's... Uh, there's no, there's not much difference except for Pinky's skin tone, which is pink like the show Equest Struggles. So if you haven't bought it yet, this is a good time to start. So like I mentioned before, the only difference between the first and the second one is just the skin and hair. And also uh, for the pony figure, it's just the mane. Other than that, uh, box maybe yeah uh, the box just says um limited edition and other than that um the art that's about it and yeah i mean that's about it uh just the only two differences there is so if you have not bought it yet then yeah go ahead and get it but if you have bought it um my recommendation is skip this one unless you are a hardcore fan that really really wants to collect them all then yes um help yourself so yeah the starting of the first news and also if i'm not mistaken is it out of for pre-order no it's just an announcement so anyway let's move on to the next news so the next news is kathy the west luck explains why she didn't play spike in pony life so um she released a video out on the twitters stating why she didn't um voice spike in pony life and i'm just going to summarize it to you guys uh, she felt like it was time for her to um what's the word she used well it felt like season nine was the time for her to stop voicing the character and it's a bit sad in terms of the fans like we we the fans really like continuity we really like to have our characters have the same voices as time goes on. And this is true for shows like Naruto and uh, what you want to call this, Dragon Balls and so on. I mean, we fans are a stickler when it comes to this kind of things. But in this scenario here, she chose to stop. Nothing to do with her health. She's healthy as a, <laughs> she's healthy as a horse, as she said herself. And... I guess this is just her personal preference in terms of uh, the character because, if I'm not mistaken, she voiced the character of Spike for almost a decade now and it's about time. Like I think she said that it was time for a send-off. But she's not opposed to voicing Spike in the future. Um, this, I think, may... may what do you call this... <clears throat> Uh, may relate to Equestria Girls or any other future Friendship with Magic roles. So, yeah, she's open to it. She's open to the idea of voicing Spike in the future. But for now, she's retiring the bit or retiring the role at Pony Life. So, I got no idea who voices the new Spike. I haven't seen the episode yet. I really need to because, well, it's kind of the job scope. And also, I am a bit busy. So, I really need to find time just to catch up. But anywho, uh, good luck, Katie. I hope you uh, hope your future endeavors are awesome as this one. But when you do do Spike, we'll be there for you. Anyway, let's move on to the next news. So next news is new Ghostbusters plus Mare Pony now listed on Entertainment Earth. So a while back, Hasbro did the whole um, branding crossover thing with what they had. And that's mostly with uh, Transformers, um, Ghostbusters, Dungeons and & Dragons, and so on. 
now um it seems that the Ghostbuster pony toy is listed on Entertainment Earth. And let's see, uh, I'm just going to read what Sylvester wrote down. The Ghostbusters limited edition pony that we post a few weeks ago has now been listed up by Entertainment Earth for purchase. She clocks in at $14.99 with a January 2021 ship date. This is all part of the Greater Pony, My Little Pony crossover collection revealed back in May. So yeah, if you guys are interested in the set, uh, go do so. Uh, I'm not really into this one because the pony figure looks like something that came out in G3. So it's not really my cup of tea. But hey, if you're a collector of the pony, uh, my little pony brand, this seems like a fun one. Other than that, I can't really say. Um, the from what? Oh, sorry. There's one thing. There's one thing. Uh, I I remember looking at the mold and whatnot, and this uh, most of the molds are similar. The only differences are just the uh, what you call this uh, are just the colors. Like Optimus Prime had Optimus Prime colors, and the face had the face mask and whatnot. The Dungeons and Dragons, if I'm not mistaken, they had five classes, and all of them wore their traditional grubs, <laughs> garbs of their five characters. Um, and what else did I remember, right? I, I don't remember much, but yeah, it's one of those collections that I'm not really into. So if you are, that's awesome. If not, yeah, it's okay. And last but not least, we have Evo 2020 cancelled along with them fighting herds appearance. So, this one is... Oy. This one is really, really derp. So, um, I'm just going to re- read what Sylvester wrote. Apparently, Ponyland isn't the only community under a bit of drama right now. Evo, the annual fighting game tournament, has had some issues with one of their founders and end up firing him and cancelling their upcoming event. Uh, this is relative for us due to the appearance of them fighting herds who actually pulled out before the announcement was even made due to the drama surrounding it. For now, that's all we are left with a huge shame since it would have been great exposure for the game. Hopefully, things will stabilize next year. So yeah, with the whole pandemic going on right now, most conventions, most events are cancelled. Uh, Evo here said that they are cancelling their uh, event, but made a made an online version of their fighting tournament. And the sad part is that most of the games like Street Fighter, Taken, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and Guilty Gear, I think Guilty Gear, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, every game that are listed there, are cancelled due to terrible netcode. So, uh, stepping up would have been, uh, what should we call this, Killer Instinct, then Fighting Hurts, Skull Girls, and if I'm not in, mistaken, Injustice and Mortal Kombat? There, there's a few, but uh, those are the few games that I listed, and those were the games to be featured in Evo's lineup. But to due to the drama that surrounds Evo, like Sifisto wrote down here, uh, one of the what you call this founders did something. So the fighting herds pulled out before just just pulled out. They pulled out because they didn't want to get involved with the drama and whatnot. And is it the right decision or not? I, I don't know. Because this is not our thing to say. But anywho, they say that they pull out because of the drama. And it seems a few days later, Evo pulled out. Uh, Evo's just cancelled. So, how how does this reflect them fighting hurts? Like, is this a good decision? Is this a bad decision? What is it? Like, in all honesty, 
I feel that it's a shame that them fighting hurts pulled out and Evo got cancelled. Not because of them, but it's just like it's a shame that they pulled out. Because it is a good venue, it is a good platform for them to show off what they have, to show the world that this game is awesome. And honestly, you, me, we know the game is awesome because we bought it. And some of you, maybe some of you haven't bought it, but you've seen the game in action. You know how it is. You know it's awesome. But the sad part is that with Evo being cancelled, it's, it's terrible for all those games that I listed down because they're not getting the spotlight. They're not getting their due. Because Scargle is another game that has really good fighting in mechanics and really good netcode and it's just good overall but they haven't had their limelight in the world stage and well as much as i want fire them fighting hurts to be out there to be popular to be one of those games that gets all the love and support it's just that right now is not its time i do hope that evo 2021 comes around and gets that spotlight because it deserves all the intention. It deserves all the support. But like always, if you want to support the developers, if you want to support the game, uh, go buy it. Go buy it for yourself. Go buy it for a friend. Uh, if that's the case, if you buy one each, you guys can fight it out, learn the characters, just enjoy the game. Because the most important thing about playing games is having fun. And it's best that if you can have fun with one of your friends doing it. And since them fighting herds netcode is really good, you won't have any problems with lag and delay. So yay, that's awesome. But that's the news for this week. Anyway, um, well, let's go to the next topic. And said topic is what have I been doing with my week? So um, this week I watched a movie. And said movie was called Digimon The Last Evolution. Something, something. I don't remember the full title. But yes, it was a really fun movie. It was heartbreaking. It was heart-touching. It was just emotional. It was a really entertaining movie. It It's just great. Like, if you grown up watching Digimon on the Fox Kids or whatever it is, if you, you're a fan of Adventure and Adventure Zero 2, you're going to love this one. And also, if you watch the movie, it, the movie kind of relates to this. I'm not hundred percent sure if you're talking, if I'm talking about the American movie. I'm mostly talking about the Japanese movie, but still, um, uh, there's a lot of confusion there. But anyway, uh, Digimon was a really awesome movie. I enjoyed it. And if you guys check out my Twitter, I tweet about the experience going inside the theater. So, the theater was. Kind of cool, kind of awesome. It's just that, just imagine a row of seats. But one of them is inaccessible. You're only allowed to sit on the accessible seat. So you'll have this um, available, not available, available, not available. And it, that cycle goes on for every row. And it's kind of funny because <laughs> you, you get to check out the movie like, oh wow, this is strange. And also, you get to see that that a lot of people, well, don't really mind it. Uh, as for me, I pick I pick one of the uh, couple seats, and in all honesty, it cost me about nine ringgit. Uh, let's just say, and I, I forgot the conversion rate, but I just bought it for nine ringgit, and I have two seats all to myself. So. Popcorn, so drinks and hot dog to the side and me just sitting one uh, chair here and it's one of those seats where you can just lift up the armrest so you can have the whole place to yourself and you know what? It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, I got to just sit back and relax and just put my leg to the side like I own the whole thing. <laughs> um, it was It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. But this is all due to the pandemic and eh, it's it's a nice change of pace. That's all I have to say. 
But other than that, um, other than uh, watching movies, did a few projects here and there. Um, nothing to announce just yet. Uh, if you guys remember what I said a while back, uh, working on it and just need to find the right time to upload stuff. But yeah, um, those are the things I did this week. But hey, let's move on to the end. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mzjgmail.com. Also, please, um, sorry. Also, you can reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. And also, please subscribe and, no, my thing, my, my Twitter. Yes, if you're curious about my Twitter, it will be at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyBlive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show with every support. You get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast available on iTunes. No. Yeah, uh, this is the Patreon thingy. My bad, sorry. So anyway, uh, yes, exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Tristan, and also myself, Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. And yes, uh, talking about the Review and Discussion podcast, yes, that's a thing we do on the iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Totera reviewing the Pony Comics episodes and specials. Sometimes we like to talk about other things than ponies. And those will be comic books, animes, cartoons, and movies. Yes, we like to do other things than ponies. We like to diversify and stuff. Yes. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Yes Show. See ya!